beautiful evening from Mother mm. Nature for baseball. It's mm. a season opener for both teams for the White Sox on the south side and the Cubs on the north months uh, after this pandemic started. Yeah, I would say maybe opening day in July <laughs> yeah. is a little better yeah. than late March, yeah. early April. WGN's Shannon Halligan live in Wrigleyville tonight with more on a rather unique opening day for Chicago's teams. Hey, Shannon. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's right. The Cubs are back and uh, Bill Murray even made a socially distant appearance singing the seventh inning stretch and the Cubs win. But social distancing guidelines are still in effect. The Chicago Cubs returned to the field and fans returned to Wrigleyville. I've lived in this neighborhood for 15 years uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's changed the entire dynamic of the neighborhood. It's like night and day. So to have all these people around in the neighborhood, it's just bringing life back into the neighborhood. And this is really what we need. On the same day, new city regulations went into effect to stop the spread of COVID-19. Chicago officials said bars that don't serve food must stop allowing indoor seating. But that didn't stop patios from filling up around Wrigley. Oh, no, the atmosphere is perfectly fine. Even with the corona going on, Cubs fans and Cubs fans were still out here, everybody's still partying, everybody's still drinking, and we still look forward to our Cubs winning another year. The continued partying is what health and city leaders are worried about. Chicago police circled the area around the ballpark, making sure people were safe and following social distancing guidelines. The rooftops around Wrigley allowed fans a view of the game, but not before giving out temperature checks and ensuring everyone followed CDC recommendations. How you bring back folks, um, you know, to work, um, safety measures that we can put in place, and then certainly been very involved in how we re-engage with the rooftops today on opening day. Yeah, and as the night goes on, we have seen more and more people out, uh, and that may be a little concerning for public health officials as the weekend goes on. Reporting live outside of Wrigley, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Shannon, thanks.